Had Love with Pat's Two Cents, back with Matthew chapter 6. Now we are at verse 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth doth rust, nor, excuse me, nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through or steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Now, I know I already read that earlier on another video, but I have a different application on this one this time. And I want you to hear what this implies. Okay, excuse me. Now, listen to this. When you lay for yourself treasures on earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, when you are feeding into your pride and you are putting a lot of importance on your image, your ego, what people think about you, how people esteem you highly, you know, some of that comes, you can, you can recognize it in leaders if they introduce themselves to you as, hello, I am apostle, prophet, so-and-so. Yes, I am Bishop Appleseed. Yes. And 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 I am evangelist, blah 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 blah. The titles, the titles, the titles. You know, Jesus discouraged people from using titles with him. And he had the right to receive the title. We don't. So can you imagine? Now, here's a good litmus test, if I said that correctly. Litmus test. Anyway, check this out. See how you feel. If you're in leadership position, how would it affect you if one of your members of your congregation walked up to you at the grocery store and said, Hey, Joanne. Hey, Frank. And you bees the pastor of that church, and they're part of your membership, so you're their pastor. But they say, hey, Frank, hey, Joanne, depending upon what your name is, male or female. Would you be offended? Why? Check yourself out. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's laying up for yourselves treasures on earth. If you get my drift now, you get it? Okay. It's important to you to be recognized in your position. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, do you introduce yourself by first name basis? Okay, here's an example. Now, pretty much everybody knows who Joel Osteen is. But you notice, I never hear him say, Hi, I'm Pastor Joel Osteen. He just says, Hi, I'm Joe. I'm, jo I'm Joel. I'm <laughs> Joel Osteen. He doesn't seem to need, he seems to kind of know who he is. So he doesn't have the need to remind you and you and them who his title associates him with. What what uh, <clears throat> office he occupies. Yeah, he doesn't seem to need that. His ego is not needy in that area. Now, the one thing I want to ask you, would you be offended if you were at a college, you got a doctorate? Everybody knows you got a doctorate. Okay. And here with your doctorate, Somebody from school comes up, they know you have the doctorate, and they say, hey, what's happening with you? I haven't heard from you. Hey, this is my friend. They're introducing their friends to you. Yeah, this is my friend William. Now, would you be offended if they did not say, this is my friend, Dr. William Butler? 
Would you be offended by that? That's a good litmus test. Because if you'd be offended, then you're really dealing with pride. That's laying for yourself treasures. That's important to you. That's an earthly little thing. It doesn't even count, but it's important to you. Your accomplishment counts, but your accomplishment speaks for itself when people get to know you. You don't have to walk around sounding a trumpet with all your titles and your pedigree and all of your accomplishments and your credentials flashing all over the place. You don't need that. Okay, here's another one. You know how you see... Uh, Priests in different denominations, they wear the priestly robe and they wear all the little spangles and the sparkles and, the, and all the way down to the ground and they march and they procession down the aisle and they're walking around, as the Bible would call it, with their phylacteries. And their <laughs> yeah, okay. Now, here's another example. When it says... Lay not where neither moth nor rust corrupts. Well, see, what happens is when you put your store in stuff like that, that can so easily become corrupted because the motive is coming from pride. And pride corrupts. Pride will corrupt why you do what you do. Why you say what you say. Why you won't say that. Why you won't handle this situation. What is your motive? Excuse me. What is your motive? With It says where thieves do not break through and steal. Do you know you can allow people to steal your identity? Because you have compromised here and you've compromised your standards there and you've lowered your standards over here and the bar just gets lower and lower and lower because you want to please you want to get all the people in you can because with more people comes more money with more money comes more recognition I mean it, it really gets to be dangerous and there is so much of that in the body of Christ, especially in leadership. One of my friends, she's a pastor's wife. She told me that when pastors come and they visit and their wives come with them, if the pastor's not a woman but a man, the wives come with them and when they, you know, she goes up to greet them and welcome them, she says, hi, I'm just going to make up a name. Hi, my name is Watermelon. And they look at her and say, oh, hi, I'm First Lady Yolanda. Huh? Why did you have to put First Lady in there? She's First Lady too. But she told you her name. That's all you needed to know. Everybody already knows she's First Lady. So she doesn't have to prance it around and sound a trumpet on it. Da, 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 da. Now announcing first lady. Come on. It's pride. And I'm not picking on you. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to make it trying to reveal something that we oftentimes don't recognize in our flesh. We don't recognize that. Anytime you get offended by the fact that somebody did not call you by your rightful title. Something's not right in Denmark, baby. As the Old Testament says, sin lieth at the door. And I'm going to leave you with that. <laughs>